back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be testing out the nyx butter glosses i have tried these in the past before but i feel like nyx came out with some new shades not so recent i know that it's been a while since these shades have been released but i've only picked them up now so i'm going to test them on you're going to see what it looks like on me i have tested out some of the nyx butter glosses a while back i used to really like the shade praline and i do have that one to show you today as well so the nyx butter glosses usually go for like five six dollars depending on where you get it you can find them at target walmart you know, CVS, pretty much anywhere I feel like you can find these. I already know that I like the formula of these because I have used them in the past. I find that they're super creamy and pigmented and they're not sticky. They're not the type of gloss that, you know, it's just going to stick to your hair and it's just going to be sticky and uncomfortable. I feel like you don't even feel like they're on. So these are all the shades that I picked up. I just picked up like the brownie nude shades because you already know that that's more of my vibe. I don't really like to wear like anything pink or like, you know, too bright. I just prefer to wear like nude lip glosses. So I picked up these and I I have the shade Butterscotch, Cinnamon Roll, Spike Toffee, Praline, and Fortune Cookie. So I'm probably just going to start off with like the lightest to darkest. I mean, they look pretty similar in color, but this one is definitely the lightest. So I'm going to start off with this one. I haven't opened any of them. I've only opened Fortune Cookie because I did use it yesterday in a video. So this is the only one that it's open and that I have tried, except for Praline. I have said, I said that before I have used Praline, so I know what this one is going to look like. But the other three shades I haven't used and I haven't, I don't, so I don't know what they're going to look like on. So I'm super excited to see what that looks like as well. Especially for cinnamon roll because it looks like the perfect nude shade. It doesn't look too cool or too like warm. So I'm super excited about trying these. Without further ado, let's get into it. Also, I just want to mention that I don't have anything on my lips. I did do my makeup, so there might be just a tiny bit of foundation on there. But I did try to clean it off as best as possible. So I really don't have anything on my lips. You already know that my go-to like combo is just a nude lip line with some lipstick and sometimes I'll put a lip gloss over it but in today's video I'm just going to be trying them by themselves just so you can really see what the color looks like with nothing else so the first shade that I'm going to start off with is actually fortune cookie and this is just what the packaging looks like on this one it does look like an orange peach tone so when I first like opened it I was kind of scared because I was like oh my god I don't like shades like that but we're going to see what it looks like on today I'm also going to bring you in a tiny bit closer just so you can see a little bit better So this is how fortune cookie looks like on i'm gonna be honest i'm not too much of a fan of how it looks by itself i feel like it's way too pale for me i am pale already so i feel like it's not a flattering shade on me and my lips are a little bit dry and it could be because of some of the foundation that's on there that's making it look a little bit more patchy but i feel like this one is gonna look better if you have some lip liner just to give your lips a little bit more definition especially if you are as pale as me or like even lighter i don't know um so yeah i definitely feel like i'm going to be just using this with some lip liner and lipstick i'm probably not going to gravitate towards it just to use on its own it does feel super comfortable on i think that these formulas are super creamy and you know they do feel hydrating i know that i said that it looks a little bit dry but that's just my fault because of the foundation and you know my lips aren't as moisturized as they should be i do apply carmex a lot but lately i've been kind of slacking on that so i do need to moisturize a little bit better so it can just look you know a little bit more seamless so this is what fortune cookie looks like so i just removed fortune cookie now i'm going to be moving on to butterscotch this is like the next lightest shade and as you can see in the packaging it almost looks like an orange brownish nude so i'm excited to see what this one looks like because i'm not the type of person that really goes for like the orangey shade so i'm hoping that this looks good i forgot to mention that the applicator just looks like this it's just like the doe foot applicator you know like your standard one so i really like it i feel like it's easy to apply and work with So this is what butterscotch looks like honestly i'm pretty impressed with it i thought i wasn't gonna like it because it looks more of like on the orange side like through the tube but in, and i know that on camera it's kind of picking up that way too it looks more orangey but in real life it's like more on the brown side it's not like orange or anything in person so i really like it it kind of looks like my lips but better type shade so again the formula is the same as the other one super creamy and it's actually really pigmented as well and like i said they don't really stick as you can see if i go like this 
they don't leave that like sticky feeling you don't see like pull apart almost from your lips so i really like the formula in these i'm not going to talk too much about the formula because i don't want to bore you with that because they're probably going to be pretty much the same thing for every shade but yeah i really like these so this is the shade butterscotch the next shade that i'm going to go in is praline and i've had this one before i've actually bought this one like three times at this point because i love it i think that it's such a beautiful shade and it's definitely going to look good on all skin tones i feel like all of these that i picked up are going to pretty much look good on every skin tone so this this is what praline looks like again it looks like a reddish brown i feel like they do look a tad bit different like once they're out of the packaging you know like the tube looks a little bit different from the actual color this is just what praline looks like it kind of looks similar to the last one but i feel like this one is just a tad bit darker as you can see like through the packaging it just looks a tiny bit darker butterscotch also looks more like orangey through the tube and this one is a little bit darker and like brown also i forgot to mention i am just putting these on with one swipe like dipping it in once and just putting it so as you can see they're pretty pigmented just for doing one swipe but if you want more like of an opaque look you can definitely dip it in again it's going to give you a more um, opaque look So this is just what praline looks like. It's a little bit more reddish once you have it on. But this is another shade that I feel like it looks like my lips but better. This used to be my go-to. I used to use this all the time because I just feel like it's a really nice shade. This is another one that I feel like you can wear it every day. I feel like it's a type of lip gloss that, you know, it's pretty much going to go with any look that you have because it's more of a neutral shade. Well, all of these are, but it's a great, like, everyday gloss. I don't know. I just really love this one, and I feel like this one is one that I'm going to be purchasing all the time. So this is what Praline looks like on. The next color that I'm going to go with is Spikes Toffee. This, again, looks like pretty much the same thing as Praline. I'm going to show you them together just so you can really see. Praline does look a little bit more, like, on the brown side, like the cool tones, and this one, Spikes Toffee, looks more orange tone so we're gonna see what it looks like and like compare them to see if it's pretty similar I think they're gonna be I forgot to mention they also have like a scent to it it's almost like a cupcake type scent to it I really like that I know that some people might not so do keep that in mind that it does have like a cupcake vanilla scent to it so this is what spike toffee looks like on again I really like this one I feel like it looks like praline but a tad bit darker I thought that it was going to be more like a little bit lighter than praline but it's actually a tad bit darker than praline but I really like this shade as well I feel like it's going to be an everyday shade so this is what spike toffee looks like on now the last shade that I'm going to be showing you today is actually Cinnamon Roll and this is one that went pretty viral and a lot of people were raving about this shade so I'm super excited to see what this one looks like on. It definitely looks like the more brownish tone out of all of them and it doesn't look like it has any warm tones in it so I'm super excited about that because I really want a lip gloss that doesn't have any warm tones in it. I feel like it's going to look really nice with the nude lip liner and then some lipstick and then this on top. I'm hoping that it works out for my skin tone because I know that it looks really good on like darker skin tones so I'm hoping that it looks good on me. So this is just what the packaging looks like for cinnamon roll. As you can see, it's like the darkest out of all of the ones that I've showed you. And it looks like the one that has like the most brown neutral tone. So I'm really excited about trying this one out. Oh my god, I love this one. I think that this one looks super pretty. I feel like on camera it's picking up a tiny bit different. It's more brown in real life. I love this one. I feel like this is my favorite one that I've tried out of all of them that I just showed you. It doesn't have like any warm tones. I feel like it's like super cool tone. So it's just perfect. I feel like this is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so happy that I picked this one up. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one again. I actually have a backup one of these because I saw how many people are raving about it. And I was like, oh my god, it has to be good if that many people are raving about it. So I actually picked up two of these. I'm so happy that I did. Definitely pick this one up. I feel like it's going to look good on so many different skin tones. So this is what cinnamon roll looks like on. Okay, everyone, that was the last thing that I had to show you in today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I feel like the NYX Butter Glosses are definitely one of the best glosses that there is on the market. They're super pigmented, and like I said, they don't feel sticky on. They do have more shades. You know, they have more vibrant colors. I feel like they have a really big variety of different colors, so definitely check out the NYX Butter Glosses. These are just my kind of shades, so I picked up all of these. I'm really happy with all of them. I was kind of skeptical, I'm not going to lie, about some of the ones that looked a little bit more orangey, but I feel like none of them really look orange on me, so I'm really happy about that. I really love all of the shades. And like I said, Cinnamon Roll, Cinnamon Roll took my heart. I feel like this is the perfect shade and one that I'm going to be repurchasing over and over. Let me know down below if you have any of these or if you plan on picking any 
any of them up i will try to link them down below but like i said you can find them at target walmart pretty much anywhere so definitely check out those places if you want to pick them up you can find me on instagram at stepctakesara it will also be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and also share with your friends because i am still trying to grow my channel it will be greatly appreciated thank you so much for watching and i hope you see you in the next one bye guys Thank you.